So let's define GIS. GIS can actually have multiple definitions, but for this course we're going to define GIS as Geographic Information Systems. So what is GIS? Well, I'm going to read a quote that summarizes it pretty well. GIS is an integrated system of components, information about the real world that has been abstracted and simplified into a digital database of spatial and non-spatial features, which in conjunction with specialized software and computer hardware, and coupled with the expert judgment of the GIS user or analyst, produces solutions to spatial problems. So let's just go through what all those elements are. So the components of GIS include the database, which is the information, the data behind uh, your maps that you're using for your analysis, the software that uh, runs the database and understands uh, what your inputs and outputs are. In this case, we're using ArcGIS. There's the hardware, the actual computer uh, that runs the software. There's the network of computers that uh, is where you get your data from and is helpful for sharing information. There's the management and procedures. This is how you decide how you collect and analyze the data that you use. And then there's the actual people who do the analysis. These are all the different components of GIS. So who uses GIS? GIS is used in multiple disciplines. You might find people using GIS in the fields of biology, or ecology, archaeology, economics, geology, history, business, medicine, etc. So GIS has a wide range of uh, applications in multiple fields. Let's talk about maps in GIS. Maps are the heart of GIS. GIS is all about spatial information, and maps are scale models of reality. Maps help convey information, and they are abstractions or simplifications of the real world. But GIS is more than just maps, because it's not just a 2D flat map. It includes the attribute data uh, to geographic features and allows the tools for spatial analysis. So it's not just maps, it includes the database and the ability to do the more sophisticated analysis behind it. In many disciplines, location is a critical piece of information that we have to understand when we're trying to think about the problems that society must address. Uh, for example, in urban planning, there's a very strong focus on place and understanding place at different scales. Planners have to deal with problems and data that uh, are inherently spatial in nature. So GIS is an incredibly helpful tool in the field of urban planning. Urban planning requires not only an understanding of the physical space where we live, but also an understanding of those underlying social, cultural, political, and economic landscapes. So GIS helps inform planning decisions because planners must be familiar with the physical layout of cities and regions, and they must understand the spatial patterns of facilities and events. GIS is an important tool for the public participation process, for helping explain uh, spatial problems to the general public. Urban planners also use GIS for a wide range of tasks, so for all the things that planners do, for things like zoning and land use planning, economic development, demographic analysis, historic preservation, crime analysis and code inspection, all the various things that planners work on, GIS is a useful tool for helping uh, do that work.